Hello and welcome to this review of Tuaca Original Original Italiano Imported Brandy with natural flavors and caramel color made with imported Italian brandy. Okay, 35% alcohol, 70 proof. This was developed in the mid 20th century. Uh, I found a trademark uh, information saying 1954, uh, but that was for U.S. trademark. It says imported by Sazerac Company, Louisville, Kentucky, product of Canada. Okay, so um, must be made at their uh, Montreal location, tuaca.com. Now they claim that the original style of this was created for Lorenzo de, de Medici back in the in the Renaissance days. Um, well, perhaps, and it was developed by two brothers, and they used parts of their last names to invent the to, to uh, come up with the name Toaka. Later changed it to Toaka. Anyway, uh, you can get a pretty good deal on this. I paid too much at Walmart. I could have gotten a better price at Total Wine and More. I didn't realize that. Uh, but anyway, uh, regular size. I'm not gonna quibble over that of the pennies, but the regular size bottle run you about twenty-two dollars. $20 at the low end, $24 at the high end. It's been passed around to different companies over the years. The current company, Sazerac, they've had it for the last six years. And uh, it's, I was reading the reviews, they're very, pretty much favorable. You get some negative, but mostly favorable. It's right here at Matherns. Uh, and like I said, I bought it at Walmart here. I don't know if Winn Dixie has it. Uh, it seems to be fairly common. Now the caramel color is giving it the caramel color, light brown or tan. They use Italian brandy, but that's oftentimes clear, and they add color in to give it color. They use Mediterranean citrus, and um, there's other natural flavors. So let's check it out. I have had this on the uh, one of our. Fandango Friday hangouts, but it's good. Now I thought it, I couldn't place the aroma and the flavor, but now I know it's butterscotch. So, um, another product that Sazerac has that's made with Italian brandy is their Hartley VSOP, and sometimes you'll see Hartley VS or Hartley, just Hartley brandy, and that has a weird butterscotch flavor, but it's subtle. This one is pronounced. Of course, Hartley's 80 proof. This is 70. And uh, Hartley's very popular around here. Uh, Total Wine has the big handle bottles, the you know the standard 750s, the little mini f tasting bottles. So, for whatever you think, whatever you think about Hartley, uh, it does certainly have a following. Yeah, it's butterscotch. So they think of those butterscotch candies in the. Um, plastic foil like I guess it's mylar plastic wrapper that, that's, that's what it tastes like all right cheers I mean that's what it smells like cheers there's an underlying alcohol burn I mean it is 70 proof but this is Without argument, butterscotch. Now, does butterscotch candy use like orange peel? They're saying here Mediterranean citrus. It might. I don't know really. I know nothing about butterscotch except I know that some people are like militantly opposed to it. They'll say, oh, I hate those kind of candies, and they go on and on about it. From a little kid, I always liked them. It tastes fine to me. Um, I'm not saying I ran after it, but uh, it tasted fine, you know. Um, this tastes good light to medium body no syrupiness in the mouth I had it chilled you want to have this chilled I do believe I guess you could drink it at room temperature but I think liqueurs do much better chilled from my experience semi dry finish um, it's not as sugary as some people claim some people claim it's like super sugary sweet I don't believe it's that it's more buttery than sugary but um, I mean it's candy like it's a candy like brandy based drink okay um, I think 50 milliliters is about all you'd want to drink if 
if you had this once a day after dinner, it probably would work. It might wear on you after a bit, but uh, if you get a 750 for twenty two dollars, I think that's a good deal, and you could share it with friends. It, you know, seven out of the ten people you have over fourteen out of the twenty would like it, and you have five or six of it hate it, and you have one person say, eh, "It's all right, take it or leave it," that kind of thing. So. But that's the key. If you don't like butterscotch candies, you're going to hate it. And if you like butterscotch, can, butterscotch candies like I do, well, then you like it. Aside from doing videos, I never drink these kind of things. That's the truth. But they're fun to try out. So, yeah, and, and I'm really no, I'm noticing that that alcohol burn is, is even more minimal than I had first believed. And I do think there's an orange... I don't know if it's oranges, but there is some kind of citrus peel under under current. I don't see why I wouldn't give it a 93. 9.3 out of 10, a 93, a most excellent product, and a mid, you know, low to mid-range price point. I uh, can't complain. Uh, Sazerac does really high-end things like Pappy Van Winkle. They do low-end, like I said, the Hartley Brandy, but one you know, of the cheapest brandies you can get, and they do mostly mid-range like this so this buffalo trace bourbon and so forth so laissez les bon temps relay a really interesting product and i'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to montreal canada and tour the sazerac canada facility if they let you take a tour there